Good morning, I'm Pastor Larry Gates, the Visitation Pastor here at Christ. Our devotion today is taken from Matthew chapter 4, beginning at verse 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. But Jesus answered, It is also written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word of God that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, Throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Jesus said, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. So far, God's word. I hope you're seeing the lesson Jesus is teaching us today. Because you see, he had the power to resist Satan, but he wanted to show us how so that we would follow his example. Because it's really amazing to see what he did, that Satan wanted to get him to sin, because if he could get Jesus to sin one time, then all humanity would be lost forever. So this constant temptation was there. But of course, as God's son, Um, He was able to resist and remain pure for his entire life. But that's why he gave us this example. Satan came to him to tempt him. And it's really amazing that in the first two temptations, Satan quoted scripture to Jesus. But it was misquoted because it was taken out of context. So what did Jesus do was that he then quoted scripture correctly to, to Satan. And you notice what he did. He quoted scripture. He quoted the truth. Jesus said, Satan is a liar and the father of lies. So he cannot stand up to the truth. Jesus says, my word is truth. And that's why he says, if you hold to my teachings, you are really my my disciples. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Ah, but the the biggest question here is, do we know the truth? Because quite often, You know, we say, well, I went through catechism classes. I know everything. And you would look at that and say, I'm sorry, but no, you don't. You know the basics. But do you know enough to stand up to Satan's temptations? And that's why God says, study my word. Learn my word. Um, Meditate on my word. Because the more truth you have, the less power Satan has over you. But if you don't know your Bible, Satan can spend a lot of time and divert you away from God, maybe even steal your faith. And that's why Jesus says, my word is truth, but Satan's going to bring lies. Do you know the difference? And that's why these, this temptation of Jesus is so important. He quoted scripture. He quoted scripture. He knew the word of God because he was the word of God. And that's why he says, please, please, please know your Bible. Because when we get into that Bible and begin to meditate Not only will we know scripture, but the Holy Spirit is going to teach us, strengthen us, empower us, so that not only we can stand up to the temptations of Satan, but also that then we can share this truth with others, so that others who are led by the lies of Satan can also stand up to him with the truth of the gospel. So may all of us, first of all, know our Bible, know what it says, study it, meditate upon it, And then once we know it, then start to share it with others. And in this way, we can overcome the lies of Satan, defeat him, and follow Jesus all the way to heaven. Amen.